Hey what's up guys it's Atrix here and I know that it's a dream of you guys to be able to play Pokemon Sword and Shield on your Android devices with amazing performance and run it even on low end Android devices with very less graphical issues well in today's video I'll be giving you guys some tips to improve performance and gameplay experience in Yuzu emulator Android specifically for Pokemon Sword and Shield. So before starting if you guys are new here please hit that subscribe button because we are so close to reaching 60k subscriber I would really appreciate your help. Let's start with our today's video. The most important tip which I'll give you guys is to use the latest versions of Yuzu emulator Android. Currently I am on the Yuzu Android build number 185. If you guys don't know then Yuzu Emulator Android has its own official GitHub page where they release new builds every single day. So I definitely do recommend you guys to give it a try because these new builds provide you with better performance and gameplay experience. Now the main reason why we are going with Yuzu Emulator Android for Pokemon Sword is because it has zero graphical issues. I rarely ever encounter any kind of glitches or texture issues. You don't even need to use the Yuzu early access build, just use the normal Yuzu Emulator Android and let's get started. The first tip which I'd recommend you guys is to use the latest Mesa Turnip Adreno driver. I mention this in every single of my videos because it is very important. Now you'll be like, how can I use a Turnip driver on a MediaTek processor Android device? Well, Unfortunately, it's not possible to use a custom GPU driver for MediaTek processor yet, but it will be soon possible. If you guys have a Dimensity 8200 processor or above, you should be able to play Pokemon Sword and Shield. For all my viewers and subscribers with MediaTek processors, unfortunately, you will have to wait for a few months until there is an Mali GPU fix in Yuzu Emulator Android, and I am pretty sure that it will be coming soon. You might remember we also got Mali GPU fix for Citra Emulator Android. Anyways, Turnip Driver review. Vision 14 is the latest Mesa Turnip Adreno driver, make sure to use it. Once that has been done, we'll head back because we'll change game specific settings especially for Pokemon Sword. Another big tip which I'll give you guys is to use and save data. Adding save data to Pokemon Sword will help save lot of your time because if you just want to play the game, explore the open world areas, encounter Pokemons etc then using a save data will be worth your while or else you can just go ahead and start a new game if you want to experience the storyline. For today's video, I'll be also using and save file. Now let's start modifying the settings and apply the best settings for Pokemon Sword in Yuzu Emulator Android. First of all, in debug settings, make sure to set it to native code execution. Once that has been done, go to graphics and set the accuracy level to normal. We think more, make sure to turn it off. Now here is an important fix. If you have a high-end device, if you want better graphical experience or very less graphical issues then you can set the accuracy level of graphics to high. Only do this setting if you guys have an actually good device for example Snapdragon 888 processor or above. Anti-aliasing make sure to set it to none. Make sure to enable disk shader cache, force maximum clocks and asynchronous shaders. Now I forgot to mention that you should set the resolution uh, of the game according to your device specification go for as low as possible if you have a low end android device 360p emulation is still a thing so yeah you can definitely make use of it uh, we'll set it to 540p cause why not it doesn't look that bad in 540p to be honest now let's go to system make sure to go to limit speed percentage and set it to 400% or as high as possible this is important so that you get over 30 fps while emulating the game Make sure to turn off dock mode because we want the best amount of performance possible. With that being said, audio output keep the volume at 100 and those are going to be the best settings for Pokemon Sword in Yuzu Emulator Android. Now if you have a very low end Android device and if you really really want to play Pokemon Sword then you'll have to go with Skyline Edge but if you have a nowadays device 2023 Android device then definitely use these best settings to play Pokemon Sword on Yuzu Android. Goodbye.